Hey guys, Mr. Views here, and today we are building the 25k budget desktop PC. So shout out to easypc.com.ph. They did not sponsor this build, but most of these parts we have acquired through their website. So it's really convenient to get those parts from them as they do deliveries. So thanks EasyPC and we will put their links on our video description if you wanted to check them out. So let's go and on with the build. Okay, for our CPU, we are going with the AMD Ryzen 5 5600G. This one has Radeon graphics built in. It has 6 cores and 12 threads. It can boost up to 4.4 GHz. And we have chosen this one since we are not including any GPU on this 25k budget build. For our motherboard, we are going with the ASRock B450M Steel Legend. This one supports up to AMD Ryzen 5000 chipsets. It has still PCIe slots and decent ARGB headers. The power draw on this motherboard is really good. That's why we have chosen this one for our build today. For memory, we are going to use the G-Skill Trident Z DDR4 3600CL18 memory kit right here. And it's also RGB. So we are using the 3600 transfer per second speed for this kit to take advantage of our AMD Ryzen 5 speed because AMD Ryzen chips as you may know really runs better on faster memory modules such as this one for our SSD we are going with the Kingston NV2 PCIe 4.0 NVMe M.2 SSD as you can see right there it's 35 megabytes per second transfer speed that is really a decent speed if we are talking about NVMe M.2 SSDs. This is a good one for our budget build for today. So for our power supply, we are going with a Seasonic S12 650 watt 80 plus bronze power supply right here. Unfortunately, we couldn't fit a fully modular power supply on our budget. So these has at least black cables, but they are fixed cables on our power supply right here. So for our PC case, we are going with the Fantech Aero 6G80 middle tower case. And as you can see, we have the color pink for our build today. So we have mesh on the front of the case right there. We also have good I.O. on the case right here with USB 2.0 and 3.0 available on the front. On the side, we have our tempered glass right here. The tempered glass is being held by hand screws right here four of them there's included filters for the case right here it's magnetic on the top and on the bottom we have also chosen this case from fantech right here because fans are included on the case so there are three 120 millimeter fans on the front and one on the back of the chassis right there case also comes with a uh, power supply cage as well so that is the back of our chassis or our pc case right here pretty standard with of course the hand screws as well really good accent right there it's color white lastly the left side of the case is also held by hand screws right here and it will be a breeze to cable manage since this will since you can also open this left side of the chassis. So here's our ASRock B450 Steel Legend motherboard right here. We have four dim slots. We have steel PCIe slots right there and that is our I.O. option for our B450 motherboard right here. 
If you want a step-by-step -step instruction for building your desktop PC, check the link right here. And on our video description, since we have already done that from our previous build. So first thing we need to do is install our CPU. So that is our Ryzen 5600G. And it comes with a standard CPU fan cooler from AMD. So now we lift the swing arm right here. We got our Ryzen 5 5600G right here. And we drop it to our CPU socket like so. Now we install our included CPU fan right here. Be careful not to touch the bottom. There's a pre-applied thermal paste under there. Now we install our 16 gigs G-Skill Trident Z RGB 3600 transfer per second memory. So refer to your motherboard manual so you can take advantage of the dual channel memory system. But for the Steel Legend, we are using the A2 and the B2 slots. Now we install our M.2 SSD. So now we are going to insert our already assembled motherboard with our other parts to our computer case or our chassis right here. So you can see that the standoffs are already installed, but please do not forget to install first your I.O. shield on the back of your chassis. So next we will plug in all these cables from our PC case to our motherboard right here. And we are also going to install our power supply. Okay, so there you go guys. So that's our complete build for the 25K desktop PC which we have built for today. And I have also shown you some of our benchmarks for the performance 
of the PC parts which we have assembled right here. So all in all, the PC really runs so quiet. Bit of a downside for the case right here since those fans turned out to be just Molex fans. They cannot be controlled or regulated through any software via our motherboard. There's no fan hub included on this Aero case from Fantech right here. All four included fans are all powered by Molex pins. For future upgrades for this particular build right here, number one would be adding a dedicated GPU to the system. You can also add more RAM or memory. Since the motherboard has a maximum of 64 gigs in terms of RAM capacity, another one would be storage. We can add another SSD since we have another M.2 SSD socket available. We can also add hard disks to this system if we wanted to. So we can add those as well for additional storage. Lastly, we can also add two more fans or what I would do personally would be get new fans altogether, remove all these pre-installed fans and install proper fans which we can control via software through our motherboard. So for now, those are the upgrades which we can see for our build today. So there you go guys. If you have inquiries about this particular build right here, please do not hesitate to leave a comment down below. So please do not forget to like and comment on our videos. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing to Obnersy Views. Click the notification bell, select all, so you'll get notified when we upload another one of our PC build sessions right here, as well as our usual you video uploads. Also follow us on our social media links right here. So that's been it. This is Obnersy Views. Now I'll catch you guys on the next one.